Hey folks, and welcome to something new. For the first time, I have hooked up my brand new video capture card to my Nintendo Switch so that I can play a new game I'm pretty excited about checking out that I had to put on YouTube, Paper Mario the Origami King. So without further ado, let's hop on in. Got it hooked up to my TV, got it hooked up to my laptop. Interestingly, since I didn't have a way of putting headphones to my TV and I didn't want that delay. I'm listening to audio through my laptop but looking at video on my TV so there's a bit of a gap between the video and audio but look at this! The music's still great! Paper Mario, the Origami King. And this is literally my first time watching game. Yeah! I will select a user named Combor. Just for fun and giggles. Uh oh, I hope my chair creaks don't come into this. Ooh, a little bit of controller rumble. Ah. Isn't this great, bro? Back on the road together and again together and heading to some kind of festival. What did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's a been a while. Mario! Mario! Oh, I do like Luigi. I like the soundtrack so far, very active and cheerful. From what I understand, that's kind of the tone of the game. And it's very interesting the way their just flat, simple paper forms contrast against the weird 3D environments. Here we are, Toad Town, and there's Peach's Castle. Toad Town. We got a hammer shop, got a court building. I'm sure, like every Mario game, things will just go well from here on out with the starting party. Got 2D characters in a 3D car. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? You are invited to an origami festival in fabulous Toad Town. Date, circle, circle, cross, cross, peach. Well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. Yeah, that's more Mario than Luigi, isn't it? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. Hmm. I'll have plenty of time to work on these, that's for sure. I've heard many things about this game, but I have not heard that it's short. And who knows, maybe the whole thing will end up in YouTube, depending if I get a positive response from my loyal audience. Some sort of item shop there. But what's this? There's nobody around. Everything's deserted. The music's taking a dark turn. Is everything... okay? Yeah, guys, just drive your car right into my house. That's fine. God, rich people. Fun swelling strings. Let's see what comes next. Here we are. Here we are. Peter's castle. I'm gonna park the card, okay? I don't want to cheat the valet. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Oh, they're so flat. I mean, obviously, but so flat. Come on, Luigi. You're friends with royalty, you can spare a few coins for the hired help. No class consciousness here. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go see the princess. Okay, I can walk around. I can jump. I don't want to go. Ah, uh, Mario, I meant let's go the other way. Towards Peach's castle, bro. Can I do any... Okay. Y pulls up an items menu. Not got any items to use. Minus. Pulls up. Help! Help me, Olivia. Who's Olivia? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a whole lot of help menus unlocked. Just literally the moment I gain control of the character. Olivia? One of the folded soldiers is holding a magic circle hostage in battle. Why? 
And I can't dive underwater in the submarine. Why can't I dive underwater in the submarine? God. Help me, Olivia. Plus, brings up, okay, I can tap through all these options. Info, who knows, map, who knows, weapons. I got boots. Only boots. No accessory, but I like that it looks like there's these various things I could select. Hopefully that means there's some sort of depth or customization in the combat. We'll see. I know it's not going to be an RPG like the old Paper Marios, which I dearly love. Or Bug Fables, an excellent game I played on the Switch that I would absolutely recommend checking out. But I've heard the combat system is interesting and surprisingly difficult at times. I like the shine on those gold doors. It's, it's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia! I forgot a gift in the cart! I'll just dash over and get it. Not without me. Oh. Okay, I don't like that. How am I gonna get outside when the door is locked? Should I keep doing these voices the whole time? I don't know. I'll do whatever I want unless anyone asks me to do literally anything. I'll just fall, fall on my knees and do whatever I can to make you happy. Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in situations like this. Nah, actually, I'll probably just do what I want. But feel free to make requests. You just gotta find Mario. Right, Mario? Can I go back and view previous dialogue like in the other games? No. So that's what we do. We find Mario. <laughs> right, Mario? Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you do, right? Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye-bye. Let, let's go. Okay. Luigi sound more like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't have to be so scared all the time. Mario! Oh yeah. Try to keep that. Oh yeah. Energy. Mario, is that you? Boom. Why, hello. Our beautiful Princess Peach, nothing's wrong. How good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? Yes, absolutely. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all of eternity? Definitely, I agree. I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? Yes, absolutely. Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Goodbye. Whoop. Bye bye. Thought I had the right answer too. Mario. Always gotta make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? It ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging at a public event. Whoa, Mario, you're here? I'm a big fan, er, I mean, I've always wanted to battle you. Even if I get stumped, it would be an honor. Wow, this is all so exciting. First I see Princess Peach and now you. I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Less lifelike. Are you insulting Mario's girlfriend? Come with us. Yeah, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. Not you. Oh, I hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to Toad for you. Oh, I like that Goomba. Uh, okay, so there's a five-fingered hand over here. That's a lot of fingers. Mario, is that you? I need your help. I'm, I'm, I'm in a very strange place. 
It's cramped and dark. Almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. Almost like. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? Oh, I touched it. What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Is it a magic circle? That's good. I think. I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? Thousandfold arms? Oh, uh, that's scary. Hello. Yeah, I got a hammer. I got a whack. Can I use it? Alright, alright, I'll proceed. Thousandfold arms. Whoa! That that sounded good. Are your arms all big and folded? Foldy now? I've heard about this. I think those are called thousandfold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. It feels like the arms are off center and out of control. Maybe try pressing R to reset them. Oh, I, it's motion controls. Oh, I'm in my pro controller. Oh, and that rumble is telling me it's right here. Ah, I can grab. Whoops. Fascinating. Wow, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. Oh, was I just stuck in that wall? You must be Mario. <laughs> Another dimension, or maybe just a wall. My name is Olivia. You'd probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? Okay. But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here? There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hit your ride? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh no. Did she just go in me? Whoa, you've already got a hammer in there. Well, don't mind me. I'll find space. That thing looks big and smashy. Maybe try best pressing B and see what happens. You better move. I'm pressing it now. Whew, that was close. Sorry, I just can't control Mr. Mario when he gets like this. He just gets so angry. Oh. Yep, two coins. Oh. Okay, so brown is smashy. Gray is not. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try an X if you're stuck, and I'll see if I can think of something useful. You did not tell me to do that. I found that. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? I don't trust you. Tell me what to do. Ooh, thank you for calling on me with X. It's my first hint. Now for an actual hint. Um, that hole in the wall looks like it might be a way to sneak out. That hole in the wall. Okay, I just wanted to see if she'd have any text for a second hint. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. It doesn't smell like this place smells, right? Hey, knock it off! But I have boxes to smash. Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way. Anything over here? Boxes. Oh, so that's just where I was locked in. No way back in there. Oh, he's got a, such a cute little face when he sm when he jumps and his hat flutters a bit. Seriously, do you know who I am? Oh, that's that's Bowser. Okay. Why you little? I can see what you're about to do to my minion, and I order you to cut it out. Bowser's been all folded up. And a clothespin? Against paper? Uh-oh. That's a Koopa. That's a Koopa. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Fold in half and... Ooh! That's... That's got a sting. Now it's a origami Koopa. Aw, Bowser doesn't like seeing his friends get tortured. What a good guy. What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. Let's be honest, Mario was into it. That was the last of them. Except for the mustachioed one. 
Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff-looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by, that was the last of them? Anyway, the last what? My minions! You monsters! I won't forget this! I'm gonna unfold my body and fold yours into pretzels! Aw, oh, poor Ted Bowsy Wowsy. Oh, I can just go in now. Coin. Mario, you're here too? Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing! Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Okay, um, I did not bring a glass of water handy, so that's not going to be able to be Bowser's voice for very long. <laughs> royalty? Ooh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? I've got a body, too. These Those folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. <laughs> It's seen worse, believe me. Never mind that. Oh, a little more. I am the great King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now, Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I would do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it! Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. <laughs> ah. Ah, we can play tetherball a little bit. Ooh, coin. Hey, don't just leave me hanging. Get me down from here. But, come on, I know we've had our differences, but you got to help me out here. You want to get out of here, right? Rescue the princess? It ain't happening without me. Okay, we're out of dialogue. No, it's like pulling a bandage off halfway. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, pow. Oh, kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Bah, no matter. Now as for that secret I promised to tell you. There's a hidden exit in this room. Heard those stories talking about it. Now is he no good. Body folding jerks. And hurry up and find it. And I'll let you bring me along when you escape. I want to, I want to get in. Whoop, whoop. Alright, do our big arms. Oh no, there's a coin. Leave, 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 coin. Priorities. Alright, motion controls. Pro stress. See, wahaha. Where would you be without me? You're really getting the hang of those thousand fold arms, Mario. I know that I could press X at any time to get a tip. Where do you think the secret exit leads? Oh, I bet that's a secret too. I'll do it every now and then, and if they're entertaining to read, I'll do it regularly. Save completed. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure up to this point has been saved. Phew! Let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of these shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff if you open the menu with Plus. If you want to try some other options or need some help, check out the control wheel section of the menu or gear. I like the design of the same block. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the art direction on this one. They've just got... Normally, Nintendo just has one very clear aesthetic. It's very consistent. But here, they're really blending together a few different styles. And I, I'm down. I'm not gonna read the same tip again. Alright, Bowsy Wowsy. Come along while I smash stuff. You're gonna see how I beat you in all those other Paper Mario games. Whoop. Oh, I do miss the spin dash. Huff! Yeah, yeah, okay, I might not do that as often. If it's not, I'm walking with my face here. Nobody makes Bowser walk with his face. I mean, obviously they did. But they're not going to get away with it. <sighs> trying to do... I want to try and do that voice better, but I will just wreck my throat in the practice. I think I know where it leads, buddy. Ding dong, we're home. Honey, guess who's back? She can't see us. Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? 
Come, we can reshape you. Patient, Princess. This will do just fine. So you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes, you'll do quite well. Very crisp, bright colors. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Or will we have to get crumply? Join us, yes or no? Yeah, seems fun. Oh, really? You expect me to fall for such a simple trick? Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. Folded soldier, come forth. I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like one of your flat paper friends? I never got to see Toad. It's our Goomba friend that we just met. He seems sick. Prepare to be folded. Wave battle. All right, time to see how the combat works. Oh no, I'm guessing this is your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Once these flat paper folks have been turned into folded soldiers, we can't turn them back. It seems cruel to fight them, but if we don't, they'll try to fold you into origami too. I'd help you attack, but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch. I don't want to get in your way. So I'll cheer you on, but you have to do the heavy lifting yourself. So jumps hit enemies in a line, we line up the circles, and hammers do like a shape. Wave battle. Are we in some kind of splash zone? I guess we'll worry about that when you get to it. Let's just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. Speaking of, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers. Huh, where did the other three come from? If they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line all four of them up, you could jump your way down the row in one attack. Bop, boop, bit, bam. Lucky for us, these rings will let us move the enemies around and group them together. So, use L to select which ring you want to move, and then press A to confirm your choice. There's just one naughty Goomba out of place right now. Let's try to get over to that empty circle. Now use L again to rotate the ring. Once that Goomba is lined up with the others, press A to finish. Okay. Great layout. Attack power up. You lined up all four Goombas. And you can bring enemies into a successful lineup like this. Your attack power is more. That means your attack power will be precisely... Uh, oh gosh, I forgot how to multiply by a point. Um, oh, whatever, you get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage. So keep lining up those enemies. Okay, uh, drop attack. I don't get to select hammer. Uh, I, mean, I guess I could, but let's just go along. Start out. Mario's turn. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, there are action commands. I notice if I press A right when the jump lands, I get excellent and 12 damage instead of just 9. You took out all four Goombas with a simple jump attack. Climbing up your enemies is worth the effort. Last way. Hammer time. More folded soldiers, enemies attacking in waves. Must be why it's called a wave battle. See last wave pop up? That must mean you're on the last group. Hang tough, Mario. These guys are lined up a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. Line them up. Your hammer will hit a shorter, wider area with a powerful blow. Should I guess mark with circle or show you where your hammer attack will land? It'd be great if you get all folded full shoulders onto those spaces. Let's give it a try. Same as before. Select a ring using L and press A to confirm. And I see there's a time limit. I get to do my math. I'm just doing that hammer of yours. Use all to select your hammer, then press A to start your attack. Yeah, let me do it. Okay, uh, how do I charge this up? Is it hold left like before? Uh, 11. Doesn't seem like I did it perfectly. Maybe I should just press A. Blop! Fast, flashy, flattening, but only if you arrange your enemies in a successful lineup. Jump and hammer both have their own ideal lineups. So always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack. Okay, okay. Clear bonus. Puzzle completion bonus. No damage bonus. Way battle bonus. Total 496. So you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo, I assure you it is far from the deadliest creature in this realm. So there's suppose there's no point in maintaining the charade any longer. Boom! That's not a shy guy, that's Brother No, it can't be. I didn't want to believe it could be you. Now that is dysfunctional. Ow. How many times did I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now. Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in the wall where I put you? Sister, if you stand in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in my glorious family. 
Oh, and by the way, I am no longer your brother, Ollie. I am King Ollie. Well, we've met the final boss. Just got a sneak of suspicion. By the time I am done, all of those miserable tolls will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers serving me, and I shall fold, crease, and bend this entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. Got these big old streamers. All these paper streamers coming and wrapping around the castle. I know a bit about the game, so I know those are going to be things we're going to have to go deal with. Red, blue, green, purple, yellow. Oh! One of Bowser's buddies. We've got a shy guy in Bowser's Koopa car. Coming to save the day. Thanks, Bowser and buddy. I'm glad we brought Browser with us. Bowser, not Browser. I'm gonna call him Browser now, actually. You know, right now, he's being a real... A real Mozilla. I'm a fan. Oh no, Peach's castle is being taken away. Also, is that a giraffe just flying past? Okay. Oh no! That a Luigi hat. Let's go get it. We don't need Luigi, but that hat is priceless. Oh, and... Well, the <laughs> shy guy made his choice. Save Bowser. Sorry, save Browser. I gotta say, that was a real Internet Explorer move. Not quite Microsoft Edge, but like, you could have come back for us. Overall average rank right now is like around a chrome. Oh, and here we are in a tree. I guess the rest of the game is just this. <laughs> You know, I appreciate how they're really willing to go out on a limb artistically and just completely change the gameplay style. Like, for a lot of it, it's... And the advertising and everything, they make you think it's going to be this grand adventure, they tutorialize you on battles, but really it's just this calm, meditative experience and this is the rest of the game. I suppose I could try hitting a button. Okay, okay. Mash A, and boop. Oh, well, you know, we can hang out at the bottom of the tree, too. There's confetti. I want it. Oh, I can't even use tips because I don't have Olivia. What's over here? Infinite confetti. Oh, that's handy. Uh, I know the confetti is... Oh, thousand fold arms. I need Olivia to use the technique. Whoa. Okay. Aha. Watch out. Unless you can float like me, I'd be careful over there, Mario. You see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but how? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this. So interesting, the scaffolding of the world itself. Empty confetti bag. So that's what we... You see the colorful scraps of paper that showered under the tree when you fell? That's confetti. Everything here is made out of paper, of course, so every... But if confetti is like a tiny piece of our world. That's why I think if you gather enough confetti and sprinkle it on the hole, it might just fix the problem. I think it's so interesting. Yep, that icon is your confetti. Can you try hitting flowers, grass, trees that your hair are not confetti loose? And once you're done, I might need rescuing again. Sorry. I think it's interesting the way Nintendo's design aesthetic is really so physical. Like, it really feels like they built these environments out of, like, actual paper and wire and string in their offices while designing the game. And I know that, like, for at least some games, they have done that. Like, that's kind of their design aesthetic. Okay, we've got enough confe confetti, so we don't need to get it all. Um, uh, my bag is full. Can I get more confetti, though? The bag look full. Does this tree make infinite confetti? 
It seems to make infinite content. Okay, then there's no point collecting it. All right, now what you want to do here is get close to that totally scary pit when you're ready to ZR to toss some confetti on it. Yeah, ZR, ha, ZR, boosh, ZR, pow, ZR. You don't have to do sound effects, but I think they're kind of fun. Yeah, ZR, pow, ZR, bash, ZR, wow, ZR. And look at that, money, money. Did it work? It sounds like it worked. Well, if it worked this one time, it should work every time you find one of these. Call me optimistic. Oh no, I hope you all always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you can help me get my head unstuck somehow. I got you. Okay, okay. Got him. Whew, that's much better. Thank you. Alright, now, where are we? There's no one around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. Seems like all we can do is explore this area a little bit. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'm always here to chat if you press X. I'll do my best. Uh, unless I find an indication that this extra confetti I'm collecting is, like, adding to some sort of total that it's good to have higher, I'm just going to say we've got enough. Okay, that's how I throw it. But it doesn't seem to be used up. So I can just do this anywhere. Woo! Pow! Yippee! Alright. Ooh, one of these here? Oh, that means my brother is already folding this whole world to his wins. That's bad news. Pow. 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 Dang, Mario, you scary. Wait, the tree was hollow inside? That's not good for trees. That tree was super dead. A shroom. An item. It restores health. Ooh, Mario! An item! You can see your items in your item menu. Yeah. Select an item in the item menu to use it. Yeah, dog. You never played a Mario game before? Mario RPG before? Or any RPG? Wow, Olivia, you're not prepared for this adventure. Wowie, I took up this view up all day long. I mean, just look at the top of the mountain, it's so... Wait, what's that? That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrapping around it, lifting it into the air. And then it was gone. Wait, there it is! See, way up on top of that distant mountain, it's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. My brother could still be in there with Princess Peach. Ooh, he's probably just plotting away. Gonna stop you, brother, as your sister, it's my duty. Oh, uh, speaking of brothers, how that Luigi doing? It's not a green hat falling into the hole. So sorry, the green hat was related to your hat, huh? Oh, I just knew I was right about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay, too. But let's be honest, it's the hat's brother that really matters. Whoopa. Whoopa. Well, that's neat. So we're just going to do that. Save complete. Uh, is our bag looking less full than it was a minute ago? Um, yes, okay. So when it's full, it's full, and I don't think it gets more full than this, but using it does use it up. Someone's here. Someone with a mustache. It's a flat paper person. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. It's got a stink. Who installed this anyway? I can't look. Watch your step. Oh, you can fall in. I thought you just wouldn't be able to walk on it. Also, I thought it was filled in already. Looks well, almost like Grand Sappy. Who's talking about us? I'm gonna hit a tree. How can he just do that? Just whacking things, huh? Not very green of him. A thousand coins? Okay. Nice hammer, he's just hitting stuff. How can he just do that? Tee hee hee? Stranger alert. Is it one of the mean paper guys? Might be. Cool hat though. More hat nasty. 
because I will destroy the wo local wildlife to create resources. A chest, how do I get it? So let me get straight, I just collected a random bag that had a thousand coins and now I'm supposed to be like, ooh, I got six. I got six, team. Like, don't care what that golden thing is. Oh, not high enough. Unless. Did he found the spring? Show him the thing. Okay. Thank you, tree. Just gonna pull it. Whoa! Don't know what those are about. Can't stop looking at that stash, though. That's probably the one that progresses the story right here. Ooh, a fire flower, actually. Faded fire flower. Would watering it restore its potency? Ah, yes. Yeah, so you make fire stronger by watering it. Come on. threw a flower into the lake. And now the lake has given back a regular flower. Um, think you'll figure it out. Bah -ha -ha. Don't give me any hints. Confetti bag, dangerously low. Ooh, four more coins, wow. Well, the, it's not really about having them. They're just fun to pick up. Oh, it keeps throwing things. Throw a radio into the lake. And it fixes it. Sorry, a stereo. It's not a... I mean, it could be a radio, but that's not... A boombox. I threw a birdo. What happens to the birdo? Birdo's up. Smooch, smooch. I think in Birdo's originally rele original release, canonically, she, she was a trans character in one of the Japanese manuals. Just interesting Mario trivia. Don't know that modern can Nintendo would have the guts to make that canon, but I think it's neat. All right, I gotta get up here. There's a gold thing, yeah, yeah, but where was that chest? Okay, it's across there. I don't have any way to get across that kind of thing. So now I'm interested in this. Can it help me get the chest? Oh, snap, saw that coming. Um... Okay. Ba -ba -da -da. It's a seed? Shriveled seed. Shriveled up for lack of water. Clearly needs to go in the magic spring, much like our fire flower does. How do I get that chest, though? I mean, this is fun, but it does not seem to affect that. Obviously, this won't work. Oh, wait, I can. I can just tank it. It's not gonna like throw me back or anything. I'm, I'm willing to pay that price. Collectible treasure number one, Peach's Castle. Collectible treasure, ooh, it's cute. You should try to collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. I'll do what I want, Olivia. Excuse me? Check out the Musée Champignon in Toad Town to see all of your collectibles, treasures, in one place. Oh, it's a matching game. Okay, those match. Not bad. Okay. Toad, mushroom, and bag. Shrivel mushroom, water to return it to its original form. Perfect. Okay, it's this one. K. 
Okay, we got some healing. And is this a bag upgrade? No, it's just a bunch of confetti. And I get a star. Ah, so I'm invincible. So that's how you're supposed to get across the spikes. Oh, he's good. No fair. Blue mist back there. Obviously, gonna check that out at some point. By the way, I'm thinking I'll probably do this in a recording session about an hour long. We'll see how it goes. Another thousand coins, just the game's nice little way of saying. Yeah, at that time you picked up six coins, it was garbage, it doesn't matter. Okay. So there was a big tree that was here and is not. I'm sure this won't matter at any point in the game. Can we proceed? Alright, give me a tip. These mountains are big, real big, maybe we should just keep going farther. Oh wait, can we go this way? Nope. Can I put confetti on it? This place seems really familiar. Maybe things will change if we just keep going. Test. That's not it. And this just brings us back here. So now we go backwards, and that's the way forward. Uh, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Sometimes when the folding gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. You know, just sit down somewhere nice and flat with perfect lighting, like on that tree stop. Is there a sit button? Alright, who's there? Whoop! Hope's the daisy. You can't sit on old Grand Sappy's head, mister. That's right, he's the elder of this forest. Show some respect, he's got twigs older than you. So what if he's been logged by those nasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Thank you, darlings, bless your bark. You, young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hardwoods to speak, let alone learn you some manners. That's right, tell him, Grand Sappy, no toads allowed. Oh, Grand Sappy here hasn't been insane since I cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folks cutting down good trees in their prime, shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grand Sappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hun. So now that you're here, you better get comfy, because you're going to be here forever. Forever? I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Uh, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not with those flat paper people who did this to you. They are the subjects of the of Princess Peach's tyrannical regime, and we are members of the aristocracy. We hardly do the work ourselves. Now, we do love the hardwood furniture, of course. And actually, I'm not even flat paper, I'm origami. Oh, origami, you say? My eyes just aren't what they used to be. Well, if what you say is true, perhaps you may be of some assistance to me if you can find a way to restore my energy. I may just let you to view this place. It's so wonderfully generous of you, truly. I only wish we knew how to release your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. If you're gonna help, we'll let you wander around. Alright, they cleared up the magic mist. There you go, child. Now you can be on your merry way along the mountain. Just don't go wandering off too far. You gotta find us something called the Soul Seed. They say it's the only thing that can help get his energy map. Good luck. And we already got a shriveled seed. Maybe that's the one. Probably not. It didn't seem like it was. I mean, it came out of the party ball. I don't know. Maybe it's important. Mustache alert. What does he even want? Can we get the soul seed? That'll give his energy back. Did we just get it? Yep, I guess it was the shriveled seed we already picked up. Healthy enough. Look at him jump. Pleasant. Oh, -ho! our second fight. Mm. That is some funky battle music. 
It's been a while since that first battle, huh? I remember how it works, do you? Line them up. Line them up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 seconds. I can do that. Yeah, please let me. Tap power up. It's boots. Okay, and time the boots to the jump. Since you nailed that lineup, your attack power went up. Oh, hey, that reminds me, you know about action commands, right? Press A just so you land, you'll do more damage. I know about action commands. I might have missed one, but I know about them. So you'll notice I nailed the other three. Perfectly lined up, very satisfying. Land multiple action commands, so you'll take your enemies out in no time. Hammer time, yep. Holy wave came out of nowhere. Surprise. Let me, please. Please let me. Please just let me. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta talk to me about it. Oh, this is the problem with playing children's games, is you deal with child level tutorials. But a good game. I hope. I mean, how many, the action command here is probably just when the circle fills up, like last time. Yep, press A when it flashes brightest. Great. So close. That was a thing of beauty. You smashed all four with a single swing. One other super important type of action command. Press A just before you get hit to block. Go get him. Keep lining up enemies and getting action commands, except, uh, the battle's over. Okay. Um. Uh, I mean, that seems like it could be fun. I'll probably keep doing it for a while. Probably the rest of the game, I bet. What a great deal. We get rid of an enemy and get confetti to boot when they explode. It's like a party. But how are we full of soldiers this deep in the forest? There's causing trouble everywhere. I got a bad feeling about these. Yeah, I can't get past it that way. You gotta fill it up. Not that I was ever gonna not fill it up, but I want to see if I can get past I bet I get a first strike bonus. Okay. This is a two move kind of thing. I don't know how to spread out all over. Uh, yeah, I think I can handle this. But I get two moves. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. Base is fun. It doesn't start in the same place as the song every time. That's neat. Let me just let me do it. Wonderful. Battle bonus. Total two thirty-three. We've yet to encounter a use for money, but we have it. Yeah, what's up? Can't believe I had one of those folded things hiding on me. Is that what it feels like when you walk into a spider web? Oh, now I feel terrible. Take these and we'll call it even. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, like 60 coins. Every time one of my leaves itches, I'm gonna think it's another one of those things. <laughs> they don't love it, but they're put up with it. So if you defeat one of those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That information could really save a lot of trees, you know. What'd you say to me? Pat, pat. Um. There we go. So weird looking at the TV, seeing the game, and coming over here and seeing it also. Uh, do we want to jump first or hammer first? A lot more folded soldiers. Never hit all of them with a single attack. Is this the end? Is this really our final battle? It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Mario! Oh, what do you know? We get two actions. Look, Mario, the action section. Does that mean we get two attacks in this one turn? Let's find out. Try selecting your first attack now. Can't wait till it will, like, less let me make my own choices. Present puzzles with, like, maybe some challenging compromises. One more action. Remaining. 
Take your second attack, Mario. Presumably we're not expected to have every battle winnable on turn one eventually. Just for solving a basic puzzle. But I hear this game gets pretty challenging later on, so I have faith that it will get tricky error. Oh yeah, it's in coin in there. Die flowers. I mean become a become reborn as a patch of grass. It may one day have its own flowers, but not you. Who would believe the restorative powers this spring has? Wrinkles gone. Dry spots wet. It's amazing. It's collectible too. Mushroom. Uh, how do I throw stuff in there? Check. Hey, this is that spring we saw before. I feel calmer somehow just standing near it. Jump in. Normally I wouldn't suggest this, but do you think we should try showing something in there? Start with our stuff. Fix that shroom. Hopefully this isn't somewhere we have to keep coming back to over the game to fix all our items. Are you forgetting something? You gotta pick that thing up. I don't want to. I just wanted to make it. We're here to test the spring, not get healing items. I'm interested in the fire flower, though. If that can do damage in combat, it's got potential. Aren't you forgetting something? You gotta pick it up. Fine. Alright, oh, fireballs. That's right. Oh. I'm not sleepy. You're sleepy. Oh, you get that seed in there. Lovely music throughout this whole game. Whoever composed the soundtrack, uh, and I'm sure their names are in the credits. Soul Seed, give it to Grant Zappy. Um, the composer's good. Burger, 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 work. Old Grant Zappy, you crying out. He seemed pretty feeble when you talked to him, but that was no feeble. Urg. Oh no, oh no. Do you think he's okay? He's hurt. Erg. I hope he's okay. Oh, sounds like a no time to stop and whack the flowers. Hurry. <laughs> you know what stop and whack the flowers is code for. Hitting flowers. Oh no. Those folded soldiers done took big bits of him. There's those mega goombas in the background, I see. Oh dear. I, I can't look. Poor thing, he's a shell of himself, hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong. Can't believe those horrible things ganged up on old Grand Zappy and did this to him. They deserve to be chipped. Uh, Grand Zappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look great. He was always creepy. Now he's downright hollowed out. Oh, I've got an idea. Look closely at Mr. Grand Zappy's face. Doesn't it look like one of those holes? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe that means you can fix him with some confetti by pressing zer. Ba! Fa! Ha! What's up? What happened? Felt like some rap scallion was whittling me down. Did I just dream it? Oh, I suppose that's just the memory going downhill. All oh, nuts. Grand Sappy's back, y'all. Let's see. Mustache, chef, creepy eyebrows. Check. It's Grand Sappy again, all right. Oh, thank you. Still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of our shell. We got our precious elder back. Not ho hollow anymore. Does it seem like he'd still be more energetic somehow? We got that seed. Oh, let's talk. You have something for me. A fully revitalized soul seed. I hear there's a good music track that I should stop and listen to soon, so I will. Doing some. Watch out now. My goodness. What a fun little tree. Mario's dancing. Like I'm super happy now. I'm feeling big and body and nice and shiny. Here I go now, here I go now. Whoa.
Dang, Grand Sappy. Wow, I was not expecting that. Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. That little seed was all it took. Tighten up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep y'all waiting any longer unless y'all want to run through that song and dance again. Trups, open up for my main mustache and his little lady here. You got it. Oh yeah, yes sir, run to that little bush right ahead. Great, now we can keep making our way back to Peach's castle. Let's get a move on, Mario. I'm still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. I'm glad we could be of service. And I, what I heard online was that this is a fantastic song that just literally only plays until you walk out of this room. So let's check it out. Thanks for everything, little ones. Good luck out there. Don't call him Grand's happy no more. He's Sweet Zap Loggins, funkiest trunk in these woods. Eee, it's like the old days again. Call me a tree hugger, because I want to give all of you a big hug. Man, this is a lot of song composed that we could have just skipped. Listen to that, keep going. Oh? Oh, it's just confetti. Yeah, this is still all new original song. This sounds like maybe a loot point coming up. Pretty neat. We have made it through the first very basic area. Eventually, maybe we'll be allowed to play for ourselves. Seems like we're about to head into some sort of toad-like town. Who knows? Some kind of city, I would bet. Uh, they probably made these planks out of Grand Sappy, those crooked imperialists. But it's been about an hour of playtime. This seems like an excellent point to hit that save block, save complete and call it an episode. Thank you very much for watching. And a big bah! Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Ugh. Ruined my outro. Bah, ZR, to all of you.